So now we will begin. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Contestant number one, Toastmaster, Vijay Kumar. Please hold your applause until I say the complete introduction. Thank you so much. The speech title, The Other Side. Speech title, The Other Side. Toastmaster Vijay Kumar, contestant number one. The coin. It is small, simple, singular. Yet it gives us a profound life lesson. There are two sides to every story. Contest chair, for the Toastmasters and Get, we often forget about the other side. Our past experiences, preconceived notions, can poison the way we look at those who are around us. I am no different. Three incidents in my life has taught me that jealousy, ignorance, and fear can make us blind to the truth that this coin shows us. The first incident took place when I was visiting my sister in Berkeley, California. She introduced me to one of her guy friends, Pedro. Pedro? My Indian brother antenna stood up. Who is this guy? What's his background? What does he want with my sister? <laughs> Lakshmi, my sister, looked at me. Dude, relax. He's like a big brother to me, nothing else. I was starting to fill with a bit of jealousy. Big brother? Am I being replaced? <laughs> she continued, you know, he's a very nice guy and extremely smart. There's still six months till graduation, but he already has job offers from companies like Apple, Microsoft, and Google. Now I was consumed with jealousy, so I responded sarcastically. Wow, his parents must be so proud of him. <laughs> the moment I said parents, my sister's upbeat mood became upset. Anna. When Pedro was 15 years old, his father was killed by the Mexican drug cartel just because he was in the wrong place at the wrong time. And because his mother dared to go to the police, they kidnapped her right in front of his eyes. He still has hope that one day he can share his success with his mother and see the pride on her face. One day. The second incident took place when I was in college. Now, I had the coolest lab partner, Karun. He was such an easygoing guy that literally nothing could stress him out. Not even the fact that his mother used to call him every single day sharp at 5 p.m. seemed to bother him. Now, looking at all the silent faces in the audience, I think you parents think it is normal to talk to your child every day? Trust me, as a child, and on behalf of your children, it is not. <laughs> so one day after he finished talking to his mother, I decided to ask him an ignorant question. Bro, why does your mother call you every day? Are you dying or something? Karun looked at me with kind, understanding eyes, as if he had been asked that question a thousand times. Yes, brother. I am. I have uh, leukemia. It's a type of cancer. I'm still fighting it, but it's not 100%. So my mother is calling to make sure I'm still breathing. <coughs> the third incident took place right here in Saudi Arabia. I was parked at a red light when a truck came and hit me from behind. We both got out, made sure everyone was OK, and pulled to the nearby street and waited for the insurance agent, Najim, to arrive. It was close to midnight, Najim was taking his time, and the guy who hit me was getting impatient. I got a call and got distracted when the guy got into his truck and took off. I was shocked, stunned, stranded in the middle of the night, in the middle of nowhere. I did not know what to do. 
When all of a sudden a black Camry came to a screeching halt right next to me and two young Saudi boys got down with their hands in their pockets. I was scared for my life. I had a decision to make, fight or flight. But before I could decide, these young boys came up to me with a friendly, Salam Alaikum brother, and pulled out their phone from their pocket and showed me a picture. It was the picture of the license plates of the truck that had hit me and the proof I required to make my insurance claim. For the Toastmasters and guests, these three incidents keep reminding me to always look for the other side. In the first, my jealousy of Pedro's success made me blind to his struggles. When we are jealous, we focus on their current successes and not the path they had to struggle through to get to where they are. Let us look at the other side and be inspired, not envious. In the second, my ignorance made me overlook the truth. Now, Karun was an easygoing guy and was not offended by my ignorant question, but that may not always be the case with other people. Let us look at the other side, put all the pieces together and get to the truth before we make a comment that may hurt. A coin may have two sides, but life will not give you two opportunities to fix a broken relationship. And in the third, fear paralyzed me from even thinking about the other side. All I thought was fight or flight, but never the possibility that these young boys were there to help me. If I had acted aggressively towards them or just got into my car and taken off, I would not have received their valuable help that night. For the Toastmasters, guests, ladies and gentlemen, the coin. It is small. It is simple. It is singular, yet it gives us such a profound life lesson. Let us look at the other side and allow our jealousies to give way to inspiration. Our ignorance give way to the truth and our fears give way to the possibilities. Let us look at the other side. Conscious chair.